So you might be trying to figure out how you can remove somebody from a photo on your iPhone. Now, luckily for you, this is a pretty basic process, but it can take some time depending on how you know much the person is or the object is inside of that photo. So to start off, what you want to do is you want to download the Snapseed application. So this is a pretty basic application. I think everyone's probably used it. It's made by Google, so you can go and download it. I think Google Photos is also bringing this feature over to their specific devices. But if you want a free way to do it without having Google One, go ahead and download Snapseed on your specific device. Go ahead and open it up and you will get a pretty basic screen as soon as you open up this app. Now what you want to do is you want to go and click the plus button and you want to go and find the photo. Now you can scroll through at the very top to find the photo here or you can click open from device and you'll be able to find the specific photo and the person or object that you want to go ahead and pretty much remove from the photo. So I tried this one, it's pretty complicated, so keep that in mind. If it's like a ton of people or if it's like a you know big thing you're trying to remove, it may not work the best way. So in this case, if I just go ahead and try to find another photo. So let me just use this photo as an example, right? So it's pretty much just of this dog or something, right? Well, then what you want to do is you want to go and click on tools, and then you want to go and find the healing option. So there's a little button that says healing, and you should be able to find it somewhere. So it's right here, it's the third row and the third one down. So what you want to do is click on here. And then what you'll be able to do is basically kind of draw out the thing that you don't want there anymore. So I found the best success to actually go ahead and kind of highlight the part that I kind of want to keep and then highlight the part I don't want to keep. And you'll see that it'll start actually going away. Now it's actually pretty cool, but it can take some time depending on how much you want to go ahead and remove. And it takes a lot of trial and error. So it can take a lot of time to kind of get it to kind of get to exactly what you want it to do. But you can see over time, if you go ahead and kind of take your time here and there, you can actually get a pretty decent success out of it. So again, it might take some time and it might get worse over time, but that's one other thing that you can try doing. So over time, you can see that you're actually able to remove whatever it is from that specific you know, picture. So again, it'll take some time for it to go ahead and fully remove. And maybe you can actually go ahead and do it to where it kind of scribbles out all of it. So in this case, what you can do is you can highlight some of the part that you want to keep and it will probably try, you know, getting to, to remove or something. But you can see over time it is removing pretty well and as long as you're kind of accurate with how much you want to keep and how much you want to remove and you kind of understand that the picture is probably not going to look exactly the same as you can see well then you can actually probably get some decent results from it so that is pretty much how it's done so you can do this with people you can do this with other things you can see sometimes it glitches out whenever you're ready you can click export you can save the photo and that's pretty much all you have to do if you have any other thoughts or questions let me know in the comment section below Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.